friends, welcome to our student support program for grade 11. At the end of a lesson, you will learn how to understand the idea of derived function, use notations f dash of x dy by dx, and use the derivatives of the standard functions x to the power of n for any rational n, together with the constant multiples, sum and composite functions of these. So let's begin. A little bit of history before we start. Differentiation is a component of calculus and is a very important branch of mathematics. It was first developed by Sir Isaac Newton. You can surf the internet to find out more about Newton's achievements. In lower grades, we have learned about gradient of a straight line. And the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The gradient, also referred as the slope of a line, is the change in y divided by change in x. But what about gradient of a curve? On a curve, the gradient is changing from one point to another. So, to calculate the gradient of a curve at a point, we calculate the gradient of the tangent at that point. For example, to calculate the gradient at P, first we draw a tangent at P. Let another point on this line be T. The gradient of PT is equal to the gradient of a curve at P. Similarly, if we need to calculate the gradient at Q, we draw a tangent at Q. Let another point on the line be S. The gradient of QS is equal to gradient of a curve at Q. But this process is not always convenient. Let's try to derive a better approach to calculate the gradient of function of a curve. First, let's consider y is equal to x squared. Let a point on the curve be p, x, y. And another point on the curve be q, which is very close to p. The horizontal displacement is a small change in x, or the increment in x written as delta x. The curly d is used to indicate a small change. Similarly, the vertical displacement can be written as delta y. Using delta x and delta y, the point q has x coordinate x plus delta x and y coordinate y plus delta y. The equation is y is equal to x squared. Let's write the point p in terms of x. p will be x x squared. And q will be x plus delta x, x plus delta x to the square. Using the formula of gradient, we get gradient of pq is equal to x plus delta x to the square minus x square over x plus delta x minus x. We can write the left hand side using the notation delta y over delta x is equal to expanding the right hand side we get x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x to the square minus x square over delta x. Delta y over delta x is equal to 2x plus delta x. Now, as delta x approaches 0, that is, q approaches the point p, we get the limiting value delta y over delta x tends to 2x. The function x tends to 2x is called the gradient function for the curve y is equal to x squared. 
we can write this limiting value as dy over dx. The curly d is straightened to ordinary d to show that we have taken the limiting value. For the curve y is equal to x squared, we have dy by dx is equal to 2x. In the next slide, we are going to generalize this rule. We call this differentiation and dy by dx is called derivative of y with respect to x. dy by dx gives the gradient function of a curve and the value of dy by dx at a given point is the gradient of a curve and therefore the gradient of the tangent at that specific point. Derivative of a x to the power of n. If y is equal to f of x is equal to a x to the power of n, where a and n are constants, then dy by dx is equal to f dash of x is equal to a multiplied by the index n multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1. Let's apply this rule to some examples. Example 1. Find dy by dx given y is equal to 7x to the power of 4. dy by dx is equal to 7 multiplied by the index 4 multiplied by x to the power of 4 minus 1. Simplifying this, we get 28x cubed. Example 2. Given that f of x is equal to 8 over x squared, find f dash of x. First, we are going to rewrite the function. f of x is equal to 8 x to the power of negative 2 using the rule 1 over x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of minus n. Differentiating this, we get f dash of x is equal to 8 multiplied by the index minus 2 multiplied by x to the power of minus 2 minus 1. Simplifying this, we get minus 16 x to the power of minus 3. Rewriting this, we get minus 16 over x cubed. Example 3. Find dy by dx given y is equal to 5 square root of x. First, we rewrite the equation y is equal to 5x to the power of half using the rule the nth root of x is equal to x to the power of 1 over n. dy by dx is equal to 5 multiplied by the index half multiplied by x to the power of half minus 1. Simplifying this we get 5 over 2 x to the power of negative half. Rewriting this, we get 5 over 2 square root of x. Example 4. Differentiate minus 10x with respect to x. Differentiation of minus 10x over dx is equal to minus 10 multiply by 1, multiply by x to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to minus 10 multiplied by x to the power of 0. Note that x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Substituting this, we get minus 10 multiplied by 1 to get minus 10. In general, if y is equal to ax, then dy by dx is equal to a. 
we can also relate this equation to the general equation of a straight line y is equal to mx plus c, where the coefficient of x is the gradient m. Applying this to y is equal to ax, the gradient will be a, which brings us to our definition of dy by dx, which is the gradient function of a curve. And in this case, the gradient is the constant a. Example 5. Differentiate y is equal to 2 with respect to x. y is equal to 2 multiplied by 1. y is equal to 2 multiplied by x to the power of 0. dy by dx is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 multiplied by x to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 0. In general, if y is equal to a, then dy by dx is equal to 0. Again, relating this equation of a straight line y is equal to a, it is a horizontal line. And we know that the gradient of a horizontal line is 0. Now that we have done a few examples, you can try this exercise on your own. Differentiation of a polynomial. Example 1. Given y is equal to 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x plus 10, Find dy by dx. Here we shall proceed by differentiating each term. dy by dx is equal to differentiation of 2x cubed is 2 multiplied by the index 3 multiplied by x to the power of 3 minus 1. Differentiation of minus 4x to the power of 2 we get minus 4 multiplied by the index 2 multiplied by x to the power of 2 minus 1. Differentiation of minus 7x, we get minus 7. And differentiation of plus 10, we get plus 0. Simplifying this, we get 6x squared minus 8x minus 7. Example 2. If f of x is equal to 5 over x cubed minus 2 over x squared, find f dash of x. First, we are going to rewrite the function. f of x is equal to 5x to the power of minus 3 minus 2x to the power of minus 2. f dash of x is equal to 5 multiplied by the index minus 3 multiplied by x to the power of minus 3 minus 1. Minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 multiplied by x to the power of minus 2 minus 1. Simplifying this, we get minus 15x to the power of minus 4 plus 4x to the power of minus 3. Rewriting this, we get minus 15 over x to the power of 4 plus 4 over x to the power of 3. Example 3. Find dy by dx, given y is equal to x plus 1 into x minus 3. In order to do this differentiation, first we are going to expand the brackets to get y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. dy by dx is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by x to the power of 2 minus 1 minus 2 
minus 0. Simplifying this, we get 2x minus 2. Example 4. Find dy by dx given y is equal to 5 minus x over square root of x. First, we are going to separate y is equal to 5 over square root of x minus x over square root of x. y is equal to 5x to the power of negative half minus x multiplied by x to the power of negative half. Simplifying it, we get y is equal to 5x to the power of minus half minus x to the power of half. dy by dx is equal to 5 multiplied by minus half multiplied by x to the power of minus half minus 1 minus half multiplied by x to the power of half minus 1 to get minus 5 over 2 x to the power of minus 3 over 2 minus half x to the power of minus half Rewriting this, we get minus 5 over 2 square root of x cubed minus 1 over 2 square root of x. Now that we have done a few examples, you can do this exercise on your own. Before moving on to the next slide, I will bring your attention to part J. In order to differentiate this function, we need to expand it by using binomial expansion. But what happens if the power increases? It will be lengthy and tedious to proceed using this method. Let's learn a quicker and neater method to differentiate a function of this type. We call it a function of a function, that is, f of x to the power of n. If y is equal to f of x to the power of n, then dy by dx is equal to the index n multiplied by f of x to the power of n minus 1 multiplied by the differentiation of the bracket, which is f dash of x. In some books, we refer this rule as composite function, combined function, or simply the chain rule. Let's apply this rule to some examples. Example 1. Find dy by dx given y is equal to 5x minus 4 to the power of 6. dy by dx is equal to 6 multiplied by 5x minus 4 to the power of 6 minus 1 multiplied by the differentiation of 5x minus 4 with respect to x which is equal to 6 multiplied by 5x minus 4 to the power of 5 multiplied by 5. Simplifying this we get 30 into 5x minus 4 to the power of 5. Example 2. Given that y is equal to 2 over 3x squared minus 2 to the power of 6, find dy by dx. First, we are going to rewrite the equation. y is equal to 2 multiplied by 3x squared minus 2 to the power of minus 6 using the index rule. dy by dx is equal to 2 multiplied by the index minus 6 multiplied by 3x squared minus 2 to the power of minus 6 minus 1 multiplied by the differentiation of the expression within the brackets which is 6x. Simplifying this, we get minus 72x multiplied by 3x squared minus 2 to 
to the power of minus 7. Rewriting this, we get minus 72x over 3x squared minus 2 to the power of 7. Example 3. Differentiate square root of 15 minus 2x with respect to x. Let y be 15 minus 2x to the power of half. dy by dx is equal to half multiplied by 15 minus 2x to the power of half minus 1 multiply by the differentiation of the expression within the brackets, which is minus 2. Simplifying this, we get minus 1 multiplied by 15 minus 2x to the power of minus half. Rewriting this, we get minus 1 over square root of 15 minus 2x. Now that we have done a few examples, you can try this exercise on your own. Here are some interesting links you can visit to help you with this lesson. So friends, today you have learned the idea of derived function, the notations f dash of x dy by dx, how to use the derivatives of the standard functions x to the power of n for any rational n, together with constant multiples, sum and composite functions of these. So friends, we have come to the end of this program. I hope you have enjoyed it. Till next time, it's goodbye.